why we need to stop President Trump. In my opinion, we need to stop President Trump because I can't handle all this winning. Please stop, Mr. Trump. We're winning too much. I'm glad he uh, had said that during his, um, while he was running for president. But you guys are going to be tired of winning, saying Trump. We can't take it no more. We can't uh, handle so much winning. After eight years of having Obama, the master race baiter, skinny legs Obama, out of touch Obama, never done nothing with his fucking life, Obama, community organizer, that's it. Never ran a fucking business. Out of touch, motherfucker. Eight years of that motherfucker. Of that piece of shit. With his fucking ratchet wife. This is, um... And it's, it's pretty awesome, actually. Because it's sort of like, uh... Well, it is the reward after <laughs> after torture. You know, so many times I need to needed to um, adjust my tone. Sometimes I still do. Where um, it's like, why are you a Trump supporter? And I have a lot of videos that say why I'm a Trump supporter. Obama, see what, where do we start with uh, Trump's, Trump's uh, winning as president-elect? Um, went and had a talk with the uh, CEO of Carrier. It might interest you to um, keep your jobs here in America. You know, your company does have other government contracts. You know, the contracts that Obama could have uh, taken care of, used as leverage to keep jobs in America. Obama knew, but he's a lazy motherfucker. Lazy piece of shit. Now, the Black Lives Matter movement would have wanted the jobs. You know, without qualifications, training, or experience, I'm pretty sure he would have made something happen for them. He spoke with the uh, CEO of Ford to manufacture the uh, Ford Explorer here in America. Well, more jobs created. And even as uh, president, while well, he was running for president, uh, going down to Mexico and speaking with uh, Peña Nieto, that, that took balls. Every corrupt politician with their fucking cartel connect could have fucking you know got him to drop on him risky move he did it let me change the nose on this side of here maybe but um yeah, Trump, I can't handle so much winning, man. I'm so used to um, being told that um, 
it's the blame game. It's the white man. You know, the white man's keeping me down. The white man is, um... <laughs> the white man is taking all the jabs. The white man, um... Um... I'm pretty sure people are not buying my artwork or my prints or my shirts because, uh... They found out that I was a Mexican Latino. And they're like, no, we can't buy his shit. He's not white enough. <laughs> He's not white enough. Yes, and um, you know, right now we like to earn more money, um, have more contracts for my artwork, have my artwork in more places. And I've come to the conclusion, call me crazy, okay? Call me crazy, everyone. And I believe uh, it's up to me to get those contracts, to make those contacts, to make those sales. Is it up to me, or am I supposed to um, wait for, uh, you know, Obama? Or should I wait for Obama to pass some sort of bill to make gold e-commerce commerce come to my front door and pick up my uh, what I have for sale? And they're gonna be celebrities, rich motherfuckers that are like, uh, who is this guy? Who does this fucking guy think he is? Building the wall. Oh, that's another. Fuck it. Pardon me for overlooking that, not mentioning that uh, huge win right there with the wall. It's not going to stop all illegal immigration or drug importation, illegal drug importation. But, um, we'll slow it down a bit. Even if it's one mile slower. Always be careful with the microns, you got no mercy. Fuck up with those. You can't do hours of work. Anyways, um. Where the fuck was I at? So much winning. And uh, calling out CNN for being um, the fake news that it is, that's another, um, that's another beauty right there. That's another beauty. People that know me personally know that um, I don't have neither left or right agendas or feelings. When I take a shit, it's not a democratic way or a republican way when I uh, prepare a fucking steak I grill a steak it's not uh, doesn't lean towards the left or lean towards the right I use the most uh, effective way that there is
I'm glad uh, that fucking other bitch, uh, Paul Ryan, is getting in fucking line. It's funny though, seeing all these. The McCain, probably, my opinion, you know, probably sold the soul to the devil to um, continue being a Democratic butt plug in a Republican suit. But uh, let me ask uh, you guys out there: What are you doing to make America great again? But first, of all, I'll ask specifically the. Uh, haters of uh, Lord Emperor Trump. Let's say you got what you wanted, right? You somehow kicked him out of office, some way, somehow. Do you think um, it would be an easy transition? Do you think all the people that voted for Trump would be like, oh, you know what, that's right. People were angry now, let's, um, we'll take in this uh, new leader, he or she. I believe the greatest tool that we have in America for a civilian, the greatest weapon, it's not some firearm, it's not even a nuclear weapon, it's uh, capitalism. Capitalism. Capital fucking ism. Now, why is that? Where to start, where to begin. Made in America. What tools we have here in America to use. How many small businesses could help you start a bigger business? Or start your own business? Or improve your own business? I need to focus on my own business, improve the quality, mark, market it properly, effectively, and uh, make shit happen. I can't uh, let these protesters attempt to uh, distract me from uh, achieving. Shit needs to get done. Nobody owes me shit. I need to go out there and earn it. It's a silly thought, isn't it? It's a pretty radical thought, I think. Oh, well, things play out like a Disney movie. Like these actors who just act, not do, act things out, make us believe in their um, fictitious world of Hollywood. <laughs> 